Hi, I'm Elise Solomon, and I'm the Director of Learning and Engagement at the Taft Museum of Art, and I am excited to share with you a craft activity to keep your kids, or yourself like me, busy through this uh, social distancing time. So when we were thinking about what crafts and activities we could share, I was you know, kind of disappointed because um, I, in my moves, I had gotten rid of a lot of my art supplies. And so I was trying to think of what we could do with things that I already have in my house so I don't have to go out and buy something new. So I'm an avid baker, and so I had all these sorts of things already here. And so what we're gonna make today is sidewalk chalk paint. That's right, and it's all stuff with bake, it's all made from baking materials. So we have here today cornstarch, food dye, and water. And so the recipe is pretty simple. It's basically a one-to-one -one ratio of cornstarch to uh, water. And so what I'm gonna use is a third of a cup um, for each of my colors. And I'm going to choose a few colors. So um, yes, yeah, so, and you can choose whatever colors you want to. I would maybe stick with some of the lighter ones. I've heard that some of the darker ones like reds may be a little bit more difficult or uh, may take a little bit more time to get off of your um, lawn. So we're gonna go with uh, my favorite colors, some purple, um, some green, some blue, maybe a yellow, because those are my favorites. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get our cornstarch out. We've got our third of a cup. And you know what, honestly, this is not exact science. It can be whatever it ends up being. So I have a third cup here. Whoop, yeah, see it's a mess. But that's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> All right, a third a cup here or so. A third a cup here. You gotta have a variety, right? And a third a cup there. All right, so we got our cornstarch in here. Next step is the water. And so I have my big cup of water here. Um, and so we're just gonna do a little bit here. Again, it's about a third of a cup. I'm eyeballing this, admittedly. A third of a cup in each of these. It can be a little more, you can always have a little bit more. And then, yeah. So then we're gonna add our food coloring as well. And again, this is another one of those things. You can just kind of add as much as you would like. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so there we go. I feel like, you know, we're getting a nice color here, but I like a little bit more, so I'm gonna add a little bit more color. And so I rec they recommend um, for you to use the liquid color, uh, the food dyes, um, instead of the gels. Um, and so just for ease of mixing, and I think it's kind of fun too to watch the, watch the transformation happen here. All right, so here we go. We got a nice purpley right here and I'll catch back up with you once I've finished mixing all the rest of these. All right, so we're back. Um, I had some other meetings I had to attend to, but I wanted to share with you all my final product here. So if you do leave it, it does sometimes take a little bit of stirring to get back, but it, it's also supposed to be pretty watery. So this is what we've got going on right now. So we're gonna go outside in just a moment and play with our new paints. <laughs> our final product here making our sidewalk chalk paint. Um, a few lessons that I've learned is that uh, it really needs to be quite watery so you can kind of see just how watery it needs to be and this is it being watery so you can tell it actually leaves a really solid um, uh, paint brush stroke and everything a solid color. I've uh, brought some water out here just to keep it loose just in case I need it um, and a few extra dice just in case I want to add some more to it. But otherwise, um, I'm really pleased with how this works and it's just a really simple project. So I hope everybody enjoys.